This is USMLE QA, USMLE material presented in a question and answer format structured similar to the first date for the USMLE Step 1 book. Question, what do single-stranded binding proteins do during DNA replication? Answer, single-stranded binding proteins prevent strands from reannealing or degradation by nucleases. Question, what do DNA topoisome raises do during DNA replication? Answer, DNA topoisome raises create a single or double-stranded break in the helix to add or remove supercoils as needed due to underwinding or overwinding of DNA. Question, what are some examples of drugs that inhibit topoisome raises? Answer, in eukaryotes, irinotkin and topokin inhibit topoisome raise I, and etoposide and tenoposide inhibit topoisome raise 2. In prokaryotes, fluoroquinolones inhibit topoisome raise 2 and topoisome raise IV. Question, what is the role of primase in DNA replication? Answer, primase makes an RNA primer on which DNA polymerase 3 can initiate replication. Question, what is the function of single-stranded binding proteins in DNA replication? Answer, single-stranded binding proteins help to prevent the strands from reannealing or being degraded by nucleases during DNA replication. Question, how does topoisome raise I and 2 differ in DNA replication? Answer, topoisome raise I creates a single-stranded break in the helix, while topoisome raise 2 creates a double-stranded break in the helix. Both enzymes are used to add or remove supercoils as needed due to underwinding or overwinding of DNA during replication. Question, what are some examples of drugs that can inhibit topoisome raises in eukaryotes? Answer, in eukaryotes, drugs such as irinotkin and topokin can inhibit topoisome raise I, and drugs such as etoposide and tenoposide can inhibit topoisome raise 2. Question, what is the role of primase in the DNA replication process? Answer, primase is an enzyme that creates an RNA primer on which DNA polymerase 3 can initiate replication. This primer serves as a starting point for the replication process. Question, what is the function of single-stranded binding proteins in DNA replication? Answer, single-stranded binding proteins help to prevent the strands from reannealing or being degraded by nucleases during DNA replication by binding to the single-stranded DNA. Question, how does topoisome raise I and 2 differ in DNA replication? Answer, topoisome raise I creates a single-stranded break in the helix and relaxes supercoils by removing one strand at a time, while topoisome raise 2 creates a double-stranded break in the helix and relaxes supercoils by removing both strands at a time. Both enzymes are used to add or remove supercoils as needed due to underwinding or overwinding of DNA during replication. Question, what are some examples of drugs that can inhibit topoisome raises in prokaryotes? Answer, in prokaryotes, drugs such as fluoroquinolones can inhibit top topoisome raise 2 and topoisome raise IV. Question, what is the significance of the RNA primer in DNA replication? Answer, the RNA primer is significant in DNA replication as it serves as a starting point for the replication process. The primer is made by primase enzyme and provides a location for DNA polymerase 3 to begin synthesizing new DNA strands. Without the primer, DNA polymerase 3 would not be able to initiate replication. Thank you for watching our Q&A format video. We hope this helped you learn, review, and retain knowledge needed for the USMLEs. For more information on this topic, check out the link in the description. Now, if you want to take your USMLE prep to the next level, be sure to check out all our courses, which are structured to follow along with the first date for the USMLE Step 1 book. You can find us at usmleqa.com. And if you're watching this on YouTube, be sure to like and subscribe.